All right. How would you uh, go about chatting up a woman in a bar? What, what tips could you give? Um, I've I've never I've never worked like that. It's always been like a friend of a friend and all that, and just happen to meet them, and then you know you have a chat, and then how did you meet Suzanne? Uh, that was when uh, I was working with her, and uh, she gave me twenty p for uh, the hot chocolate machine. She never asked for it back. <laughs> Thought she's all right. <laughs> um, I've been there sort of eleven years, so it works. <laughs> Has she ever given you that? Uh, she ever, have you, have never you ever, you've never back. given that twenty people. Never asked back. for it back. Uh, did you return the favour? Perhaps on the next date, uh, did you buy her a Kit Kat or something. No, I don't think I did. I think I think word got out that um, <laughs> she liked me and that. And um, what did I do? I think I did some work for her. Did some editing for her, to sort of show off my skills and that. <laughs> sure. And she was like, "Oh, you're good at this, aren't you?" I was like, "Yeah." And I think she got us another drink because I was I was doing that editing for her in my own time. So you're up. You're up on the deal, aren't you? Because I, I know now, I know for a fact, that you've not spent any money on her in 11 years, so you are, you're 40p up. <laughs> At least. Lawrence from New York says, I was wondering how Mr K Dilkington would interpret this famous saying of philosopher Ludwig Wittgenstein. The quote is, if a lion could talk, we could not understand him. Even if he's English. Yeah, if he, <laughs> yeah, if a lion could speak English, so there's no language barrier. He's speaking English words and using all the correct uh, grammar and everything, but you wouldn't be able to understand what he was saying. Why? Because it is from a different world. His frames of reference would be so bizarre that you wouldn't be able to get a grasp on what he was talking about because you'd have so little in common, even if he used real words. No, but he's talking English. Yeah, no, but his reference points would be just so far removed. You know, they're removed slightly when... Uh, uh, if you saw two people talking about Kierkegaard, you'd... Un you'd, you'd I hear... wouldn't understand it. Exactly. So remove that a billion times to a different species with different input. No, but it depends. If I'm talking to a lion in London Zoo... Yeah. He'll, he'll be saying, oh, I'm fed up with being stuck in here. I'll go, yeah. It's like that... It depends what his background is. I mean, there's some people who might have lived down the road from me but have a totally different life. Absolutely. So it doesn't matter that it's a lion, does it? Well, yeah, because they're just trying to remove it even more. So, so now it's not just a bloke who lived a few doors away. Now it's not even a bloke. Now it's not even... Yeah, but I'd, a, I'd pick something smaller yeah, or, right. or something, you know, a worm without a mouth. I'd go, definitely not. What? Definitely, Definitely not, not what? what? I wouldn't be having a chat with it. I just, I just think that a worm that's that's underground. Yeah. What's it got to offer me? <laughs> it's, it's blind and it hasn't got a mouth. It's not going to be a good day out with it. Is what I'm saying. It's not going to have that much to say to me, even if it's English. Right? <laughs> even if it's English. And how can you tell if a worm is English? Is it wear a very tiny bowler hat? Oh Christ! But do you understand? What about a jellyfish? No, I, you see, I think that's where you, you can you can say you wouldn't be able to have a good chat with them because to me, the sea might as well be another world. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Um, in a way, I, I think the fish sort of have more rights than us. What do you mean? Just because when when whoever made the world, right, yeah. say you know we we're just bigging up God, but if yeah. I was was to have a go at him, yeah, I'd say you added too much water. <laughs> Criticism one to God, right? right. So, <laughs> you, how would you have changed that? Just, just more land. Fair enough. Now, why, why, are the, why have fish got more rights than us? That because, was I was because, because there's loads of them, and when you look at the amount of sea on the world, right? There's, there's loads of that. You only have to like, like you know, I was in Malaga the other week, right? And you know, you look in the sea, there's loads of different fish, uh, and that's just in like eight foot water. If you go miles out. There's like all sorts of weird fish, isn't there, with like lights on them and everything. So, and they're just millions of different types. Yeah. Yeah. Now, but why does that mean they've got more rights than us? Just because I think, you know, rights come in in numbers, don't they? If you know what I mean. Like, if there's one of you shouting, people go, oh, he's an idiot, shut up, whatever. If there's loads of you shouting, they go, oh, best listen to him, see what they've got to say. Right. And, and that's what I mean about fish. <laughs> yeah. There's loads of fish. Right. So, but they're not really making their voices heard, though, are they, Carl? Yeah. I know because they're underwater. But what? But what I mean is, I don't know what I mean. 